No matter what type of business you run, Airtable is a great option for your project management. But is it the right one for your business? There's plenty of great off-the-shelf tools like ClickUp, Monday, Asana, Trello, that are all highly rated and have great reviews. But should you spend the time, money, and effort trying to figure out Airtable for your business? Well, that's what you're gonna find out in this video. So before making the decision, is Airtable really the software you're gonna be using for all of your project management? You have to understand what Airtable is in the first place. Airtable is a relational database that allows you to build custom tools and allows teams to really quickly craft and iterate on the internal tools that they're using inside of their team. The main difference between Airtable and other traditional project management tools is that Airtable comes as a blank slate. That means you get to create your departments, you get to create your tasks, you get to create the entities within your database that you're interested to track. Versus traditional project management tools, you already have those things kind of pre-built and decided for you up front. So if you go for a tool like ClickUp, Trello, or Asana, you're already gonna have a structure that you're kind of need to fit your business within of. So the first thing you need to consider is where does your service fit on the spectrum of being productized and being custom? Because custom projects really require flexibility in the project management tool that you pick to allow for, you know, one time you might be doing a website, another time you might be doing SEO, third time you're gonna be doing social media content. You're gonna need to have the flexibility to basically create custom projects every single time. Versus if your service is more productized and more repeatable, it's kind of the same process that keeps happening over and over again. Airtable is gonna be your pick to go because it's gonna allow you to put in a custom process management process that is going to be repeatable and almost custom tailor built just for your business. The second factor you need to consider when picking your project management tool is, is your business inherently data intensive? And I'll give you a couple of examples of this. Some companies, example recruiting, are very data intensive. They need to have ATSs, they need to have applicant tracking systems. So every single time an applicant applies for a job, they need to track that, they need to link that person to the job that they applied. And as they were in business for you know many years and many times, that data is gonna be very valuable to them because they're gonna be able to repurpose that and start to gather analytics, which jobs are easier to fill, which jobs take how long to fill. And overall, they're gonna be able to build a big database of all of the data as they're delivering the service. So if your business is leaning more towards being data intensive, meaning that every single time you deliver a service or a product, you just happen to create a lot of data as a byproduct, definitely consider Airtable as your pick over traditional project management tools because it will just allow you to track all of that versus needing you know more different softwares, different tools, just to try to sort of supplement your project management tool and you kind of need to track things in spreadsheets and stuff like that. Whenever you see yourself tracking stuff in spreadsheets, multiple spreadsheets, that's usually a sign that you kind of need a database tool that just links everything together. So data intensive towards Airtable, less data intensive, typical project management. If you want my help with building out an Airtable system for your business, you can book a call with me in the link below. I've helped over 50 businesses implement entire Airtable systems and automations to help them scale. So check it out. Another thing to consider is what are your natural tendencies as a manager or as a business owner? Meaning, are you naturally systems oriented? Do you like building systems? Do you like building custom tools? Airtable is gonna allow you to build pretty much whatever you want. It's gonna allow you to build a mini SaaS within your business that's built exactly towards how you want it. Versus on the other hand, if systems aren't really your thing, you're kind of unsure about, you know, should you do it? I wouldn't recommend dabbling too much into Airtable because you're just gonna end up locking yourself in. Project management tools, they're off the shelf, they kind of predefine you on how you need to do things and are gonna solve a lot of your problems early on. And then once you sort of start scaling and get an operator or someone who's very systems thinking, then you can explore using Airtable as a tool to really kind of centralize everything and build a more robust system. So definitely depending on your preferences, you need to understand where do you fit on that spectrum and are you more of a systems guy who kind of likes to tinker with things and build things for themselves, or you're kind of an off the shelf guy. Hey, I just need things to get done. I need somewhere to follow them. I'm going to use something off the shelf. Both work, again, just depending on your preferences. The end goal with Airtable is to build a ERP for your business or an enterprise resource planning tool. That's just a fancy long word for 
a mini SaaS for your own business. It's a custom tool that you track all of your things in where all of the data is. You're not tracking stuff on 17 different spreadsheets. Some things are kind of in this project management tool. Some things are in this other thing. It's just everything centralized under one roof. That is the end goal of Airtable. It's gonna allow you to do that for your business. A typical project management tool will allow you to track where things are in your projects. So depending on what the goal is that you're trying to fix, if you're only trying to fix of, I just kinda of wanna know where things are, project management tool. If you wanna have a holistic solution for your business where you're tracking all of your data, you can start building automations on top of, you can start tracking more better KPIs custom to your business and start building up advanced workflows on it, Airtable is gonna be your pick. A really important factor to consider when deciding between the two is the time, effort, and money required to set up a fully functioning system. A project management tool that's off the shelf is gonna be easier and faster to set up. Does that mean it will have all the functionalities that you might want? Probably not, but it's gonna be fairly simple and easy for your team to, to get used to. They probably used some of these tools before, and it's overall just gonna be a faster turnaround time to have something operational going. On the other hand, Airtable is a blank slate. It comes with blank fields, blank interfaces, there's zero reporting, zero dashboard, and you kinda need to build everything yourself. That means you as the final user, as a manager, as a business owner, is going to have to crack that and figure that out for yourself. And you're gonna need to build all of the fields, you're gonna need to build all of the connections in order to have a useful system. So it might take you more time to set up Airtable, probably a lot more time to set up Airtable to be functioning well and good for your system, and that will allow you to have more features and more possibilities and more automation that's gonna be a completely custom thing built for you. But just understand that if you're gonna be doing this as a founder, as a manager, the time and input required for you to actually get that done. There's plenty of really good guides and tutorials on how you can get started with Airtable and build up a really simple system. I even have a 20 minute video where I show you how I built an entire project management system within 20 minutes, so you can use that as a start, but don't get discouraged by the fact that it's gonna require you to take time. It, the benefit of that is this is gonna be a custom thing only built for you and your business, and that's really invaluable, and the operational efficiency that you're gonna get by having a custom thing that you know to the soul and your team knows to the soul is gonna make it worthwhile. So now that you have all the information, it's up to you to make the decision. You have to figure out all of these factors combined. How big is your business? How many services do you have? Is your business data intensive or not? To understand whether I go for a off the shelf tool or do I build a custom thing myself? And now that you're equipped with these tools, the best way for you to start that is to build a process map of your existing business. And you can watch this video to understand how to do that.